Hello everybody, Detergent Zangs and Space Shuttles. Uh, in this episode, even more white magic because we're still not done. I'm sorry if the last episode had that hot bar cut off. That happens because I uh, have like two different screen resolutions um, and I recorded in the wrong one, which I barely even noticed most of the time. I should really just look at my OBS from time to time, shouldn't I? But that's okay. <clears throat> Uh, in this episode, like, we were, have made, uh, preparations f to make ourselves this ma uh, band of mana right here. Uh, I already put most of the materials in here. Um, as you can see, it's nothing really. This diluted mana pool right here is just made out of living rock slabs, which are easy to make, you know. Stuff like that. But we also need, uh, a couple of tools, first of all. So we need a gem cutter, a lens, and a, a theme. Well, considering you have all the diamonds in the world, let's just make these really quick, so... Ahem. All of these, actually, I can't have them like this. Whatever. Beam! Um... What? Oh, a theme. My bad. I know how to English. There we go, here's a diamond one. Then we need... Majestic Lens, or, well... I think this is like made of out of elementium and there is absolute hell going on outside. Amazing. Okay, here's a lens and then we need a gem cutter. <laughs> okay, no, Majestic is actually made of Majestic and that's ridiculous. Oh boy. Okay, so we have our three tools that we need. Let's put them in here, uh, but we also need uh, a fluid, and that's Inferium in this case, which I already put in here, thankfully. Okay, so let's just put it in there. There we go. And there we go. This is a band of mana. So this is pretty much the same as a mana tablet, but you can put it in your ring slot right here. And this will basically just hold your mana while saving up an inventory space. It's pretty cool. So let's claim this loot bag, let's open it, we get punch 2, it's prosperity shards. Nice, nice. Uh, I also bought some prosperity shards just to make those inferium ingots. Okay, um... Then the ban of aura, uh... Ugh, buys me more inferium. Okay, so let's do, uh, before I, I because I need to know where I where I need which quests I need to do. So let's do slash PQ admin edit. And let's see. Okay, so I wanna get like over here so it seems I do have to do both the quest lines. But this is optional. Okay, so I don't need to do this. Good. So good that I checked that actually. Um I want to get over here. I think I can, yeah, I can save up on the Astral Sorcery for now. But I only have to do these two paths right here to get to the Terrestrial aggl Agglomeration Blade. <laughs> Words. Okay, so let's turn edit off again. Um, let's see. So this requires me to make a Cyrus Amulet. When warmed by the player, the bubbles I mean, not, they will be able to double jump. Okay. That's pretty neat, uh, but it takes mana when doing that. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is probably where we're going to use up all our essence. And let's produce him. Uh, we don't have all that much base. <laughs> we're not based on anything. Uh, that's kind of you, actually. I don't know. Is there anything else that we should do right about now? I oh, know, I guess we can get the string quest done. Uh, or not, because apparently we just lack everything. Okay, do we have any wool? Yeah, we do. Put that in there. Hmm. I don't know. It seems to be rather tricky. So he's in here. And then we go. That's the... That's done. B. 
Oh, I just started the record. I didn't really make a plan for what I was going to do, so this is all just pretty spontaneous. Um, hmm. <laughs> I wonder, is there anything else in, like, in the tech shenanigans that we could do? Uh, I guess we could do this sort of stuff, like the engineering things. Hmm. 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 I know. Um... There's so much option now, but I kind of want to actually start uh, making my new energy production, sort of, so I can get myself some miners going. That would be really convenient to have those. Uh, but for now, I think... Like, do we need anything uh, unique for, like, these things? Uh, that's a lot of diamonds, data storage circuits, um... Yeah, that might be a bit of a problem. Might have to fight the Ender Dragon for that. Um, but other than that, no, it doesn't seem like a block of diamond. Osram. Nope, sure doesn't. So technically speaking, we could get on it eventually. Um, rather soon. Hmm. I like setting these up as like early as possible, mainly because it, it solves our iron problem. <laughs> and our mining problem too. How much ender pearls do we have? We have 12 ender pearls, that's actually a good amount. Should we go look for the end in this episode? I kind of wanna. Uh, what? I... I do. Oh yeah, right, um, yeah, things are never as easy here. Uh, do we have, do we not have luminescence? Oh, well, let's make some really quick. There we go. I mean, we, let's go look for them, I guess. Let's go look for the end, uh, but I'm gonna go to bed really quick. Because I really want to fight the end dragon, don't get me wrong. I wanna have all that cash money, which is gonna make getting the thing much, or well, getting money rather easy. Okay, let's see. This way. Please don't explode. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's head uh, in this direction. Which is quite bad because there's a sea serpent in our way. No! Okay, uh... This is like the worst case scenario of what could have happened. Let's make a bow. I think I'm gonna go make an. I don't have string. <sighs> Let's make an invert bow here. Because I wanna try fighting the sea serpent. Uh, which, I don't know, I've never fought a sea serpent like this before, so this will be a new experience for all of us. Okay, so let's get the arrows of freezing, they're gonna be very helpful. Uh, harming is gonna be very helpful. And I'm pretty sure we actually should've done this at night now, because, uh, where did my berries go? There you go. Um, because they sleep at night, which means they will not see us coming. Uh, which arrows are we using here? Uh, I don't know which ones are being taken first, but I do want to use the freezing arrows because they are quite good and I'm pretty sure they work on any mob actually. Okay, let's get a couple of these and uh, see if we can take it on. Um, really? Wait, those are two endermen. Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of you. Yeah, see those freezing arrows? They are really good. Okay, let's fight these Endermen then. There we go. Get over here. Please don't teleport me. That would be nice. There we go. Oh my god. Big drop. Um, I don't think I can kill the troll. I don't think... Can? 
I thought you were friendly there for a while. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with the troll. The troll is stupid. Why is he even up here? I thought they only spawn in, like, caves. But that's weird. Um, let's try. But, Jesus Christ, that's like... How many was that? Six ender pearls? Okay. Um, let's go try it. Okay, where is the bastard? Oh, there he is. There he is. Try sniping him. That didn't hit. These guys, they are... Just because they are in the water, that doesn't mean that they are very agile on land. So let's just sneak up on him. They have like a... Again, all mobs have like... It, it might just backflip out of the water any second now. There we go. Let's go, bitch. I don't think he sees me. Oh, there he goes. He's back flipping onto the land. He's coming. Or not. I think he's stuck. <laughs> this is kind of cute, actually. <laughs> he's stuck. He can't escape. Oh my god, these arrows are really good. There we go. He's dead. Uh, any other sea serpent that wants to come my way? I have bow and arrows. And I'm not afraid to use them. Nope. Okay. Well then. Go down here and collect its scales really quick. Um, what's its fangs? I can't see anything down there. <laughs> Hold on. Get very close to the screen. Can't see anything. Did not drop scales. It should have dropped scales. Come on, where are the scales? Where are the scales, Lebowski? I mean, I don't need the scales. Oh, there they are. You can make some pretty sweet armor with these. Like, check this out. Seven armor. It requires shiny scales. Which are made from the Siren, which is an annoying mob. But I actually never found a Siren DDSS. Like, I fought it before, but not on DDSS, so I don't know if they changed anything on the spawn right there. But okay. Now, this is pretty smooth. We used up all most of our freezing arrows, but that's okay. Uh, means at least that we have a less dangerous area about. Um, but sea serpents are not all that rare, so... Crossing the ocean is still gonna... Pose a problem if I don't have anything to hang glide off. I just realized that I could do this technique with the hang glider. But the thing is, it requires a majestic ingot, which would require me to make a um, industrial electrolyzer. How hard is this to make? Some cobalt, 60k coolant alumite. I could make this. I could make this, but I don't know how long that would take. Um, I think we have one of these actually just lying around. Uh, I don't. I don't think I have enough ovium for this, so I'm just gonna go uh, on through the ocean for now. If I see another, I'm just gonna uh, have slash home on the ready because I'm a pussy like that. This would make for a really great battle reader right about now. Hey, any sea serpent that want to mess with me? I'm I I have come prepared this time. Let's throw another ender pearl actually. Let's see. Where? There. Okay. So yeah, it seems it's really out far. So. 
Let's go see. Oh, I hate this. I really hate the ocean in, in TDSS. Well, it's not the worst ocean, I think. There's one more. Worse, but... Oh, wait, there's a... Uh, Cyclops. Big boy. I think you just pushed me. Let's go fight him. <laughs> I don't think I'm in this aggro range. I don't think I am. Yeah, I can just kill him. Shouldn't even use my arrows for this. Oh yeah. Take a second. <laughs> this is so cheap. And he's not dodging either. Can he not dodge? Yeah, the Cyclops has a little bit of a lot of health. <laughs> oh, he's moving. He's moving. Come on. Turn around. I need to shoot your eye. Let me shoot your eye, please. There you go. Uh, okay, did you drop anything special? Let's see. Doesn't seem like it. Eh, guess not. This really is the monster hunting episode. Well, we should probably fight a dragon next. <laughs> you know what? That would actually be a cool thing to consider, fighting a dragon. Oh, Jesus Christ, too majestic. Uh, I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it so much, you don't even know. Holy macaroni. Anyways, um, hmm. Ah, uh, seems like we may not have to cross the ocean actually because there's it may connect to another island, which would seem good. And now all the sea serpents are asleep, probably. Maybe, hopefully. I don't see a sea serpent, but it probably wants me to cross the ocean, right? Hey, right, look, there's our constellation that we got. Um, let's see. Yeah, it definitely wants me to. Where did it drop? Oh no, I think it popped actually. Uh, well, this sucks. Let's go slash. Narrator, ah! na all. Narrator, narrator, shut up. System. He scared the crap out of me. Off. <laughs> Fuck you, narrator. <laughs> narrator. Ah, I hate the narrator. Hate it so much. But anyways, we got a lot of ender pearls now. That's cool. Jesus buff. Jesus buffs. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, let's see how much Ovium do we have. Ovium. 10 Ovium? Uh, that is not enough. Um, not in the slightest. So we need 12. Uh, uh. Ugh, okay, we need more Ovium. Uh, do we have any Ovium ore in here? Or down there? Who knows where? Hello, Ovium. Uh, we actually do not, which means we have to actually make Ovium. Uh, which needs Galena and, uh, what was it? Galena, Galena, Galena. Where? Huh? I need to find it. Excuse me? No, oh, uh. Wait, does it have to be in the alloy kiln? I don't think it has to be. Right? Yeah, okay. Where is it? Vanadium and Galena, okay. Uh, how much? We have a lot of Galena. And some Vanadium. So, I don't like wasting all my Vanadium because it is quite a common material in this mod pack. Uh, then let's just throw in all the Vanadium that we have. 
Uh, do we have any vanadium dust in here? And Galena? Yeah, we already do. Well then, let's prepare. Let's make the hand glider, and then I'd say, um, maybe. Okay, we're like 26 minutes in already. <laughs> hmm. I haven't really done anything yet, except for fighting a sea serpent and a bike gloves. I think I could add, like, add the machine on this part. Just cut it out, so... Because you know, you know what happens. Okay, there we go. Here's our industrial electrolyzer, which is an item that we should not have right about now, like, at all. But we also need another energy source in order to power this, in which case I will make the Fujita, uh, not... Uh, what is it called? Generator... Uh, thermal generator. This one. I'll make this one really quick. This is not, not to film. It's 10 a.m. on a Saturday. Why are you chainsawing a tree outside? Okay, there we go. This should be it. Right... Okay, there we go. There's a thermal generator, and I'm sorry, there's... It appears some people just cannot seem to stay quiet whenever I'm recording. Um, let's just place them somewhere where I can easily access them. Uh, how about our immersive engineering machinery right here? Okay, there we go. So, this is Tech Reborn machinery. Uh, squeaky chair, I know. He is back. He's always there. So, these take EU electric units um, instead of RF. And, uh, do you know to power them, we just made our thermal generator, which takes lava to run. So, all we have to do is just get some lava, throw it in here, and it will start generating EU. And then the EU goes in here, and then we can start using our elect industrial electrolyzer. Um, so, one of the main things that we want to electrolyze is uh, majestic dust. And... For the simple reason that this allows us to get the majestic bar. Uh, we only need sodium hydroxide actually, uh, but that's not a problem. Um, yeah, it really isn't. Okay, so in order to get majestic dust, we have to combine white dust and dark magic dust. Um, which I'm unsure if I can actually make dark magic dust yet. I'm not sure. We know, I know that we have white magic dust, but can I make dark magic dust? dust yet. I actually can. Oh, neat. Uh, this is polarized coal. Okay. Let's take some polarized coal really quick. I have no coal up here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's go get some. Da -da 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 -da. So in here, all, all the Galena. This also may allow me to um, Jesus Christ, he's really going at it outside there. Uh, allow me to make something that will help me recover my lost empty cells that I used up during the whole crafting ordeal. Okay, so we need nine of each. So I think we don't have enough uh, wax to make some white essence, huh? Right. Essence. Magic dust. I'm, 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 I'm my bad. Magic dust. So favor these. I don't think we have enough, right? No, it doesn't seem like it at all. No. Do we have any combs? Oh, so yes, we do actually. Um, so if there's a break that a friend I can throw in uh, into the centrifuge, and then I can use up all that magic dust. Okay, uh, let's remake our bees here. Um, ooh, ooh, this could be good. This could be very good. Now we find out maroons. And because these actually give us the... Um, wait, was maroon the right one? I don't know, but anyways, I think those were pretty good. That's what we established the last time I, I recorded. Okay, let's throw these back in as per usual. You could also throw, I guess, one of these in just to make more maroons, I guess. You could try. You could, I guess. 
This one has a weird gene. What was so special about these? I forgot. Oh yeah, they can... They can? What was so special about them? Oh yeah, oh, it's because they dropped honey drops and... Like, they have a high chance of doing that, I think. That was it, right? Was that it? Yeah, they had a high chance of honey drops. Well, then let's just take, uh, deal with this, uh, wait until I get more wax, and no, Mr. Skeleton, not today. There we go. More bee wax. Wax for the wax god. And throw this in in a sec here. Oh, there's one more. Um... I don't know, we need mana powder, um, which needs polarized mana, infused mana, I think, right? I think that's it. Um, so let's just throw um, six in here. Is this honeycomb glitched? What? I think there's a glitched honeycomb in here. It does go away. Help. Let me just um, quickly... Get the pickaxe out for this. Pickaxe. Ah, uh, I think this one is glitched. Okay, there we go. Wait, what? Oh no, I can only do it in the centrifugal separator. Why is that the case? Excuse me, why? EDSS, please, come on. Throw me a bone here. Anyways, we got our used mana now. So let's make a bunch of white magic dust, and of course we just barely do not have enough. Well, then we just gotta have to wait. Uh, let's see, dark magic, let's make some dark magic. Uh, we are missing evil dust, huh? Um... I think you get evil dust when you polarize the dark gems, yeah. So let's just polarize a couple of them. If we're lucky, we can get a uh, blood wax thing, I don't know what it's called. Bloody glowstone or something. Yeah, blood infused glowstone dust. That'd be really lucky. <laughs> That'd be insanely lucky, actually. Uh, but... It we didn't get it. Oh, it's like a one or two percent chance to get it. So doesn't happen. And what now? What are we missing now? Blaze powder. Uh, you have blaze spots right here. Uh, wait. It's better if you pulverize them, right? Uh, let me quickly fact check myself here. Yeah, it is. Pulverize. No, I think I'm gonna make a cut right about now, because we're about to finish up. I'm just gonna finish up on the essence, and then we can end the episode. Okay. So, uh, let's go to bed, actually, because my bees don't work during night time. Oh, mamma mia! Here we go again! Die. Oh my god, I missed. Can I actually show you? Yeah, see see this? This is why bows suck, because enemies can just dodge like that, and they are actually invincible while they dodge, so even if you hit them during the dodge, it doesn't count as a hit. Which is really bad, I don't like that mechanic at all. I think we can actually start already, like, combining these um, into Majestic Dust, because of the separation process, actually takes quite a uh, while, so it'll be good to start off the next episode while it's done. Like, check this out. I'm pretty sure it takes quite a while. I, I don't remember, actually. Uh, yeah, it's alright, I guess. There's worse. Obviously, this is eating away at all our energy right about now. But, yeah. This works. There we go. And we got some steel and aluminum from this, so it's not too bad. Okay, there we go. We got our last two white magic dust. Let's just throw them in here. 
And I think this is a good point to end up the episode. I hope you like the more uh, edited episodes now, with me cutting out all the shenanigans in between. Makes the series go a bit faster. And again, I apologize if my upload schedule has been all over the place again. Holidays are about right about the corner, so I'll have a lot more time to upload then and there. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!